Let me put the timer on. Let's go. In the previous episode, we implemented the new methods to replace the router implementation. So I think we can implement a quiz delegate now. Whoops. Let's see what is missing. Did complete quiz. Apparently, it doesn't match our implementation. Why? Question, question. Answer, answers. Okay. The tuple names mismatch. Right. Okay, so what happens if we fix this? Let's see. Okay, now we have an error because it doesn't match the type defined in the factory. Yep, type mismatch. Right. We can change this in the protocol or we could just map this into a new type, into a new tuple, question and answer. That should work. Okay, now since it's a tuple, maybe we can just use the dollar sign zero. I think that should work. It does. Okay, so let's commit. I would like to fix the type mismatch first and then implement the protocol. Mm -hmm. Fix tuple name mismatch in the quiz delegate implementation. Yeah. And now we commit my navigation controller router implement quiz delegate. If we remove this map now, let's try to fix it. Mm -hmm. The view controller factory protocol. Yeah. The implementation. Right. What breaks now? Presenter, yeah. It should be answer now, not answers. Yeah. Fantastic. Fix tuple name mismatch. We are done with the type mismatch. And we made the router implement the quiz delegate. Yeah. So what happens if we remove the router? What breaks now? The app delegate, the main module. Very nice. Fantastic. Yeah. So before we remove the router, why don't we use the new APIs here? Could we do that? I think so. Since the router implements the quiz delegate and the new API requires the quiz delegate, I think we should be fine. So we can replace this with the new quiz dot start. Yes. With questions mm -hmm. and the delegate. And the delegate is the router. Yeah. And we need to change the property. So let's call this quiz. And instead of game, we have a quiz now. Yeah. Perfect. Get rid of all the generics there. Okay. So good. We migrated the app delegate. Okay, almost there. So I would like to use the correct answers here, but instead of a dictionary, it is an array. This setup as well. This can go back to one line. Yeah. Easier to read. It looks a lot cleaner. Okay, let's build again. Fantastic. We have now migrated the app delegate. Now we can probably get rid of the router. Yes. And those methods are not required anymore. Fantastic. Okay, the tests are passing. Remove the precated router implementation. Finally. Yeah. And I think we can make this class final as well. For sure. Okay. Made a class final. Now let's have a look at our list. Replace the router with the delegate. So we need to fix the quiz engine type requirements. Can we do this now? I think we, we should be able to do that. We don't have the router there. There shouldn't be any confusion. Let's remove it. Build. Fantastic. Okay, removed necessary type declarations. So this is gone. Now we need to organize the router test. Yeah. We need to change the name of the test route to result. Okay, should be did complete quiz. Did complete quiz. Right. Improved the test name. Yeah. What else do we need to do here? We need to move this. Yeah. 
and make everything private. And make everything private. Private class, private class. Fantastic. Okay. And then we can get rid of the result references. Get rid of this method. Yeah. But it's still in the view controller factory. Right. If we remove that, what happens? Perfect. Everything is migrated. Yes, it is. Okay. Removed the precated method. Let's follow the warnings. Mm -hmm. And again, I prefer to do it in time steps, as we mentioned multiple times. Yes. This should also be fine. And it is. Okay. Removed deprecated method let's follow the warnings right so this can go away as well mm -hmm. we could also amend this into the previous commits yeah now we don't need this result helper anymore in the test excellent so happy to remove this yeah <laughs> removing redundant code makes me happy let's run all the tests again Beautiful. It passes. Removed deprecated test helper. Okay. We organized this. We removed the method. Now we need to add the deprecated message right. to the result struct. And we are done. Yeah. So let's have a look at the result type. Okay. Tomato is over, but we can add the message and get done with this. Mm -hmm. Scoring won't be supported in the future. I like that. It's up to the client to score. Mm -hmm. It's not part of the framework anymore. Yeah. And I think we are done. We have no more warnings. In the next episode, we can just have a quick overview of the code, see if we missed anything. Yeah. Update the diagrams and see what's next. Perfect. See you next time. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.